Good morning from Maastricht. Uh, I'm up just after half past seven. Sunrise is at five to eight. It's a very gloomy looking day. Uh, don't know what these figures are here. Uh, some interesting kind of statues. Some sort of a noisy thing beneath our feet in the central square here of the town, which is, um, we're staying in a little, I think Airbnb type place. Uh, got it on booking.com, but uh, it's, it's sort of, uh, anyway, just a small like little guest house. It's very nice. And uh, what a magnificent church. Uh, this is Basilica Square, so I guess this might be a basilica. And uh, look at that, magnificent. So anyway, um, got here quite late last night and I thought I'd retrace my steps from the uh, train station, which I guess is about a mile and a half away. So I have a good hours, you know, an hour's walk there and back, um, taking some pictures of the city as I go. And uh, starting off, as I say, in this square, which we didn't really explore last night, just kind of walked through the town and got to our hotel. But this is magnificent, of course, Maastricht. A town of historical, or city of historical importance, and uh, in fairly recent times, the Maastricht Treaty was signed here. Of course, uh, any historic square should have a McDonald's and luckily this is no exception. So, um, five minutes to sunrise. I'm standing on a bridge over the mighty River Mar that gives its name to Maastricht. And um, <laughs> not a glimpse, not a hint of colour in the sky, just total greyness. But there is a little bit of texture in the clouds, so at least uh, we've got that. Uh, I think the, the sun is meant to break through briefly today, but only briefly. So slightly disappointing, but a uh, lovely, lovely city. Uh, <laughs> no apparent signs of um, any sort of financial hardship here. I mean, the, the shops, the houses, they all look very, very nice. Uh, everywhere is really well kept and uh, looks very well looked after. Just across the, uh, across the road here, uh, that goes across the bridge, you can see cycling as in Amsterdam, very, very popular form of transportation. Absolutely zero people wearing helmets. Um, and the style of bikes seem to be old, heavy steel sort of bikes. So if you did, <laughs> if one of those did crash into you, I, I think it would hurt. So uh, there you go. There's the other side of the Mar anyway. The, uh... Right, let's cross to the other side. The, there's, the train stations uh, kind of on the other side so the, the, the city seems to be divided pretty much into two uh, by the river so um, find out a bit more about its history from the ever reliable um, Wikipedia a bit later on see that was the sort of sunrise I was hoping for uh, not today
So we're uh, kind of approaching the main train station and the trees here on the other side looking very autumnal. Leaves beginning to fall. The sky a bit gloomy. The time, eight o'clock. Um, so there you go. About two and a half hours from Amsterdam by train. Another sort of central square here uh, in the heart of the city. Uh, hopefully, I'll find an ATM somewhere, that'd be good. They seem to be conspicuous by their absence. I'm fine, like a, a banking district or central business district, yeah, uh, with that kind of thing. Hopefully, maybe around here. So you can see the city comes to life, the market stall people are just setting up over there. Right. Slight break in the cloud, so whether we're going to get some sun later, that'd be nice. <laughs> 